వంశీ సాయిరాం ఆర్టి వెల్కమ్ టు శ్రీ సత్సాయి లోక్ శివ గురుకులం ది టాపిక్ ఆన్ ఏరియాస్ ఆఫ్ క్వాడ్రలాట్రల్ వి ఆల్రెడీ సీన్ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ క్లాస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ది క్వాడ్రలాట్రల్ వాట్ ఈస్ క్వాడ్రలాట్రల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ ఫిగర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఫోర్ సైడ్స్ is it not two of which meet at a point called vertex and it is a figure having two diagonals naturally it will have four angles and also we have seen different kinds of quadrilaterals namely square rectangle come on parallelogram rhombus trapezium all this of course we have told it many times why you are repeating is you make it uh, practice properly okay and also we have seen a midpoint theorem what is the midpoint theorem when a line is drawn parallel to one of the sides suppose you have a triangle abc so in a triangle abc if d is drawn parallel to the base then what happens then you have d is equal to half of bc one thing and also d is parallel to bc so what are d d are the midpoints of the two sides so it can be in the other other way also so you can draw a midpoint here also or here also so that is called a very very important midpoint theorem and also we have seen about intercept theorem when three or more lines are cut by a transversal parallel lines say we call it as say l m n usually represent the line by small letters and this is what is called as transversal suppose it cuts at a b and b c suppose you have one more transversal we call it as d e f then we say a b is equal to d e b c is equal to e f they are called intercepts so these intercept made by these will be equal okay that is what is called as intercept theorem if ab is equal to bc then de is equal to ef these are the things we already studied just for memory purpose we just glance through it now let us make use of that here here you are given that lm is equal to mz so lm is 3 cm mz is 3 cm and then you are given that find out xy and also xp this is what they are asking and bz you are given that pq is equal to 3.2 so pq is 3.2 ab is 3.5 this is 3.5 and y is at y is at this 3.4 so these are the things given 
and they are asking this xp, xy and bz. So you can use the intercept theorems by the help of intercept theorem. So L line L is parallel to M is parallel to N. And given that PQ is 3.2. So PQ is 3.2 here. Therefore, PQ is equal to XP because they are intercept maids. So that will be also equal to 3.2. First answer. Second answer, xy is equal to yz, you are given with the xy, yz is given 3.4, so xy is equal to yz is equal to 3.4. How do you prove it? This is on the basis of intercept terms. Lastly, bz is equal to ab. So, BZ, BZ is given, AV is given 3.5. So, BZ also becomes 3.5. So, this is the answer for the third question. So, you are asked to find out XY, this is XY, then XP, then BZ. So, this is the answer for that. And the reason is intercept theorem. by the intercept theorem. What does the theorem says? If three or more lines cut by a transversal, if the intercept made by the one transversal are equal, then the intercept made by the others also will be equal. That is called intercept theorem. Okay. Now, today's topic there is a theorem which is very important, parallelograms on the same base, parallelograms on the same base. What is a parallelogram? Parallelogram, you must know the property. Parallelogram is a quadrilateral having opposite sides equal and parallel what? and opposite angles are equal and diagonals bisect each other. This is a parallelogram. Have you prepared it? Of course, some of you might have prepared it. Now you have to prove that parallelograms on the same base or you say equal base. So, these are the two parallelograms. One is called a, B, C, D, and that is P, B, C, Q. They are on the same base. B, C. And between the same parallels, these are called parallel lines. Suppose you call it as L and M. L is parallel to M. Same base, same parallels. What happened to them? They are equal in area, means areas are equal. So, A, B, C, D and P, B, C, Q have the same base called B, C. B, C is the base. Stand on the same base and between the same parallels B, C and A, Q. So, these are the parallel lines. So, now what you have to prove? We have to prove that area of ABCD is equal to area of PBCQ. So, that is what you have to prove. Now, the proof is AB is equal, so you can write it as proof here PROOF. Note down. Ready done? Okay. So, AB is equal to CD because they are opposite sides of the parallelogram. Similarly, BP is equal to CQ. This is BP, this is CQ, opposite sides. 
of the parallelogram and angle 1 therefore angle 1 is equal to as these are parallel lines they are the corresponding angles 1 is equal to 2 and therefore we can say triangle ABP is congruent to triangle DCQ followed this is the symbol called congruent why congruent 1 is equal to 2 and 2 sides corresponding sides are equal so we say by the A S S S A S postulate we say that they are congruent and therefore we say so here you can write 1 is equal to 2 so by two sides S A S congruency reason therefore area of triangle ABP is equal to area of triangle DCQ means what suppose you cut this triangle and keep it on this triangle they will be identical so the area will be equal to each other okay now if you take now our purpose is to find out the a b c d now we have proved triangles only what is the relation between the triangle and parallelogram so area of triangle uh, uh, parallelogram a b c d is equal to see this small triangle here a b p plus trapezium this is called trapezium what is the name of that b c d p so area of tra trapezium dc b c d p similarly area of parallelogram b c q p is equal to area of this triangle this triangle plus trapezium b c d p so b c d p is a trapezium in between so for that trapezium you are adding triangle here in the left side there in the right side so now we have proved that these two triangles are equal and this is common in both therefore you can say last point so i think all of you have seen what is called trapezium right so trapezium is also a quadrilateral you see this one side one pair of sides are parallel so this is the trapezium you get here okay and now as the right hand sides are equal left hand side also must be equal so you have a beautiful result from 1 2 and 3 this is result number 1 the two triangles namely these two triangles are equal and this is common these two are common therefore you can write area of parallelogram ABCD is equal to area of parallelogram BCQP see the figure area of A B C D is equal to area of B C Q P what kind of parallelograms are they they stand on the same base which is the same base B C and they stand on between the same parallel lines so these two parallelograms stand on the same base and between the same parallel lines what happened to them the areas will be equal all right some two three times you must uh, do circus or you have to practice it okay now similarly so this is a statement what you have proved earlier 
parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area. That is the meaning. So, on the basis of this, here the symbol, this stands for parallelogram. Sometimes they write like this also. With a drawing a figure. This also I can write. Hmm? So, that is symbol used. That is why they are given note. And now coming to next theorem. Triangles on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area. As you have proved for parallelogram, now you have to prove the triangle. Here there is a small change. We have to draw diagonals here. So, what is the name of the triangles now? Consider the figure. Diagonals have to be drawn. One is called BQ and it is called AC. There are two parallelograms here. One is called BCQP. Another is ABCD. They are the two parallelograms. They stand on the same base BC. And what does the diagonal do? The diagonal divides the parallelogram into two equal parts. And they are the two triangles. As I told in the beginning, so this is a parallelogram. So this parallelogram, are you seeing? Okay, suppose you draw a diagonal, it cuts into two congruent triangles. So here also the two diagonals cut the parallelograms into two triangles which are equal in area. Followed? So, what you have to prove? You have to prove that area of triangle BCQ, see this is BCQ, BCQ, this triangle. How you are obtained? Because of joining the diagonal BQ is equal to area of triangle PBQ. P, B, Q. So, P, B, Q is equal to B, C, Q. B, C, Q. So, both of them stand on the same base and between the same parallel and each of them are half of B, C, Q, P. So, B, C, Q, P, because you have drawn a diagram, diagonal here. So, how to prove it? First, we will prove from what we know. Area of triangle ABC we will take now. This is area of triangle ABC. This is a triangle. Is equal to angle, triangle, area of triangle CAD. CAD. So, A, B, C is equal to C, A, D because you have drawn a diagonal. The diagonal divides the side, the quadrilateral, divides the parallelogram A, B, C, D into two, namely A, B, C and C, A, D. That is got. And hence we say area of triangle A, B, C is equal to B, C, Q. So, this is ABC and this is BCQ because both of them stand on the same base and between the two parallels. Followed? Since area of triangle ABCD is equal to area of BCQP. So, area of ABCD is equal to BCPQ. We already proved in the previous theorem. So, because the two parallelograms are equal, the triangles formed by them also equal in area. Followed. Therefore, triangles standing on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area. Means what? Suppose you cut this triangle ABC. So, this is ABC. 
and keep it on BCQ. BCQ, both of them have the same base. Both of them are between the same parallels, in equal in area. Suppose you cut this and keep it on that, it will be identical. I think what do you mean by identical? See like this. So if you cut on that, see one triangle will be identical to the other because they are the same base and same height. So if you cut this and place it on that, the areas of the two triangles become equal. That is the theorem there, very famous theorem. So know it correctly. Now we will see one of the, it is called corollaries based on that, we actually it is called corollary, it is not a theorem, it is a branch of the theorem. Triangles on the same or equal basis having the equal areas have their corresponding altitudes equal. What do you mean altitudes? Nothing but height, this is called altitude, this is heights are altitudes. So, DE and PS are called altitudes. If the area of straight triangles are equal, so area of triangle is equal to half base into altitude or height. So, here BC is equal to QR because they have equal bases. Suppose BC is 5, QR also is 5, that is the meaning. And you have to prove that height also is equal, D is equal to PS, you have to prove. For that, you are given with BC is equal to QR, okay? And we know that area of triangle ABC, ABC is equal to DBC, just now you have proved in the previous theorem because same base between same parallels. It is given and therefore, <coughs> if you draw perpendiculars DE and PS to the line M meeting at E and S, so this is a line M, you are drawn perpendicular from line L, we call it as DE and PS, so they will meet at a point called E and S. Okay, that is what you have to prove. So, now area of triangle ABC is equal to half of BC into ED. What is ED? Altitude. Similarly, area of triangle DBC is equal to half of BC into DE. So, right sides are equal. This is first result. Second result, area of PQR similarly, half of QR into PS, but you are given that BC and QR are equal, so these two are equal. So, BC and QR are equal, you can equal basis and therefore 1, 2, 3, that gives half BC into DE is equal to half QR into PS. So, these two are equal. So, half half cancels, then altitudes you know, BC and PS are equal. Since these two are equal, BC and QR are equal, DE must be equal to, so half of BC into DE, half of BC into PS because QR and BC are equal. Lastly, we have D is equal to PS. That means the altitude drawn will be same, will be equal. That is the meaning. When it become equal, 
when you have it have the same base or equal base or when they are between the two parallel lines then the two altitudes also become equal well right very nice so altitudes of triangle abc and dbc and pqr are equal in length so we conclude triangles on the same or equal basis having equal areas have their corresponding altitudes equal so basis equal altitudes equal that the result why are written red ink to make it clear you should have a correct picture about it then only you can work out problems on that okay now one example will take up in the figure area of parallelogram abcd is 40 and bc is 8 bc is 8 cm from here to here and they are asking altitude is how much so use the theorem area of bcef bcef is equal to area of abcd both of them stand on the same base and between the same parallels l and m therefore areas are equal that is by theorem by theorem what the theorem says two parallelograms standing on the same base between same parallels are equal in area so if abcd is 40 bcef also is 40 and uh, so that is the answer for that question there is only one uh, so that is one question then you have to find out altitude for altitude what is the formula area of parallelogram is equal to base into altitude b into h so base is given find out altitude that is the answer so 40 is equal to bc into altitude so bc is given to be how much 8 into height so you can simple write it as a is equal to b into h that is the formula for the area of the parallelogram what is b b is called base h is called the height or altitude you have to find out here a and b are given find out h altitude and altitude becomes 40 by 8 that is 5 cm follow it i think you understood this a very simple question maximum is 2 marks for this noted oh, very good now let us see what baba says plant the seed of love in your hearts i think all of you know that the heart is there in you you have to plant the seed of love love for what love for parents love for brothers sisters love for friends animals birds and all let them grow into trees of service and shower the sweet fruit of ananda if you have that loving heart the seed will become a big tree and you get ananda share the ananda with all that is the proper way to celebrate birthday so birthday means not simply cutting cake or uh, you know lighting the lamp or candle birthday really means developing love and serving the that is what baba says love all serve all okay practice that now we'll see only one home assignment one or two the area of triangle abc formed this is area please write down area triangle abc formed by joining diagonal ac of a parallelogram abcd 16 so area of triangle abc 16 find the area of parallelogram abcd second question area of triangle acd 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 is given to be 
EF is 4. Find the altitude of the parallelogram BCFE. Okay. So, that is the second question. Come prepared with answers. Okay. Thank you.